Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, the number one place for information on living in Maryland. And today we are gonna talk about three things you must know before moving to Newmarket, Maryland. And if you are looking to move here or anywhere across the state, please reach out to me, I would be happy to help. My information is listed below and you can also reach out to me on my Instagram at, at Eddie Brady Real Estate and I'd be happy to help you there as well. So with that, let's get started. The first thing you should know about Newmarket is that it's the antiques capital of Maryland. And and this is because they have a rich history dating back to the 1790s when they needed to establish a trade route between Baltimore and Frederick. And this is almost smack dab in the middle of that route. It's a perfect place to establish a town. And those first plots were laid back in the 1790s. And the town has done an amazing job at keeping a lot of those antiques and history alive. So that's what helps it become the antiques capital of Maryland. But what if you're not into antiques and all of the history? Is Newmarket still a good place for you to move to? And I would say yes, because of the Lake Linganore communities and everything that this community has to offer. The Lake Linganore Association has 14 villages or, or neighborhoods, if you wanna call them that, that are all connected to one association, which is the Lake Linganore Association. And they all have the same amenities, which are the lakes, you have tennis courts, pools, everything you can think of in this community, it's there. And you have homes that were built back in the 70s, all the way up to new construction homes that are still being built in 20. 23 right now at the time that I'm making this video. So if you're not looking for the older homes in downtown Newmarket, this is probably the place for you. And one of the coolest things about the Lake Linganore Association is that it's very inexpensive for the amount of amenities that you get uh, with your membership. So if you're looking to move here, you have to check out the Lake Linganore communities. They're, they've added two neighborhoods recently. So it's just something really cool to check out. You can go on the Lake Linganore Association website, which I'll link in the description below and check all of those out. And if you are looking to move here, you're probably wondering what are the housing prices like? So let's just jump right into it. If you're looking for a apartment style condo, you know, there's only a few options in Lake Linganore and they're actually very new. They're built in 2019 and 2020, right by Oakdale High School. And if you're looking for a two bed, two bath here, you're gonna be paying between 325,000 roughly and about $400,000 for very new, very updated condos. And if you're looking for a townhouse in New market, you're going to be paying anywhere from $300,000 to around $600,000, with the majority of those homes being between four dollars and $500,000. And the majority of those homes are new construction homes. So for that price, you're getting a brand new townhouse with amazing amenities, usually in the Lake Linganore Association, actually the majority in the Lake Linganore Association. So if you're looking to move here in a townhouse, you're in good shape. There's plenty of options for a reasonable price. And if you're looking for a single family detached home, you're in luck in Newmarket. There are so many options for you and they range really between $400,000 and $800,000. And it just all depends what you're looking for. Are you looking for a rancher or a modern style home or some kind of lake house style or a traditional colonial? They have it all here. So it really depends. If you're looking for those specific types of homes in Newmarket, please reach out to me so I can kind of point you in the right direction because there are so many different neighborhoods with different features and styles. So I'd be happy to point you in the right direction for what you're looking for. So I hope this video helped you decide whether or not to move to Newmarket, Maryland. And if you are looking to move here or anywhere across the state, please reach out to me. I'll put my information below again and on my Instagram at, at Eddie Brady Real Estate, you can message me there as well. And as always, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe so that you stay up to date on all of my videos about living in Maryland.